What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually going to be removing a dash out of a 2G DSM spider to be specific. Anyways, uh, we're going to be removing that and I'm going to show you and I'm going to walk you guys through on how to do that if you guys never done that in the past. All right, let's go. Oh, all right so in between this whole pile of junk this is uh the spider that we're actually going to be removing the dash from this is the dash right here i might remove the seats okay i might remove the seats uh just so you guys can get a better view but uh yeah this is what we're working on uh be aware i mean i i ended up getting this uh this spider kind of cheap you know just for parts just for parts the engine's gone transmission's gone and a couple other things but what you see in the video is pretty much what i have right now at the moment so anyways uh let's go ahead and uh start to remove the seats i'm going to start removing the seats okay i'm going to start to remove the seats uh that way we can get uh we we can get um that way we can uh, you know settle in a little bit better okay to start removing these parts okay all right so let's go all right so I got the seats out of the way. We got them right here. All right, and then uh, as you guys can see, I have a little bit more wiggle room so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Um, I might change the way I normally film my videos. I wanna see if maybe I can do a point of view. That way I can work on the car and you guys can see exactly what I'm doing instead of you know me blocking the camera and stuff like that. Um, so first of all, as you guys can tell, the center console is missing and the shifter and the assembly for the shifter is all missing as well so you don't necessarily have to remove the shifter honestly uh, but what you do have to do is remove the center console okay the panels on the sides okay and also your radio you have to remove that stuff to even start thinking about removing you know the dash on your uh, eclipse or eagle talon Okay, so anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some of the tools that I'm going to need and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, so these are some of the tools that I'm going to be using. Uh, a thin flathead Phillips, short stubby flathead, long flathead uh, wrench, set of extensions, uh, 12 millimeter crescent wrench and 10 millimeter crescent wrench. This might help um, the swivel. And then also this might help as well just to burn a little bit of time you know to make this a little faster um, before I commence I do want to mention to you guys I did remove the ECU some people might be able to get get around that but if you want to remove the ECU um, that would actually I would actually advise uh, to do that first um, before we even start all right, so first things first, I'm actually gonna be removing this cover here for the ignition. I'm gonna be removing it, and that involves a few Phillips screws here at the very bottom. Okay, I'm gonna have to be I'm gonna have to remove that in order for uh for this to um, in order for me to have a little bit more wiggle room. Honestly, um, some people might be able to get away with uh leaving leaving it on the car, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, one. Just watch, watch your eyes because these screws might fall off unexpectedly. Now, what I'm going to be focusing on 
it's just they're held on just by some clips here and there on both sides there you go you got that side done and sometimes well right now i have the key so i'm gonna have to take it off just for the time being i'll put it back in and then this should kind of slide out a position like so bam and there you are and i'll put these the screws and everything back together um here with this piece okay so now like i said i'm gonna be removing these two screws here right here and right here and i'll be back okay okay so i got the two screws off and now there's two tabs on each side there and there and uh, sometimes there might be like some adhesive here stuck around this area. Um, it just takes a little bit of persuasion to remove it, but you know it's not too bad. Okay, there you go. Put that to the side here, as well as the screws. Um, here they are. And now I'm going to be focusing on the cluster. Okay, that involves four Phillips screws. So I'm going to be removing those, and then I'll be back. That's the fourth one right there. Okay, and then all all this is is uh we just have to push it back towards you or pull it, I guess, pull it back. I'm sorry. And should be able to come off. I can tell this one probably has never been removed. But there it is. Okay. Then you're just going to have to wiggle it side to side. And then, bam, there you go. So, we got that going. There's the cluster right there. And this is from a 99. The 99s uh, came with the white face uh, cluster. So, yeah, if it looks a little bit different than yours, that's that's why. Only the 99s came with the white face uh, OEM cluster. Okay? So... Now, what I'm going to be focusing on, let me lift this up. Uh, what I'm going to be focusing on is there's a cover right here. I'm going to be removing this guy. And then there's also another small little cover here. Reason being is because there are two 10 millimeters uh, bolts right behind these covers. Okay, one on each side. So I'm going to pop these guys out. Uh, let me see. And, you know, just be aware. They are a little brittle, they are plastic, so you have to be very careful on how you remove these pieces, okay? Uh, especially because, you know, they are a little harder to come around now. Alright. Having technical difficulties right here, taking it off. There, oh, it almost gave. Okay. Okay, there you go. All right, and as you can see, there's one, those 10 millimeter here, bolts, and then another one right here. Right underneath, in the very bottom, there's actually two more. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. <clears throat> one here and uh, another one back over here so I'm gonna be removing these guys and I'll be back
Okay. All right, so that's done. And now you can kind of wiggle it a little bit. Um, I want to see if there's a tab on this side here. I'm not a thousand percent sure. Honestly, it's been years since I removed the dash, but I could remember a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So there is a tab right here. And then underneath it, there are two uh, Phillips head screws. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove this piece because it's gonna be in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove those screws and then I'll be right back. All right, so we got the screws off. So you can see here, and this, just pretty much goes out of position into here so it's in here it's kind of like the throttle cable if you guys ever removed the throttle cable on your dsm it's pretty much the same concept you push it out of here and uh after this you pretty much slide it off this track um like so bam okay you just put this to the side okay we're gonna put the screws um, with it as well. Okay, so there we go. Now, um, there's actually two screws here by the cluster, uh, not screws, I'm sorry, bolts, okay, um, that you need to remove. There's one here, and there's another one back over here. Hopefully you guys are able to see it. Um, I'm gonna be removing those, and that involves a, somewhat of a decent size extension with the 10 millimeter bolt so this is what i'm going to be using here okay in fact this is probably way too long but it's fine whatever so here we go here's the first one actually you bring it out from here here's the first one here okay now we got our second one here Probably from the outside be better. Okay. So, ouch. Yeah. A <laughs> big mistake. Anyways, uh <clears throat> put the bolts to the side. And um now what I'm gonna actually gonna do is uh this guy here, okay, that controls your side mirrors um and your fog lights and whatnot. I'm going to actually remove this. Why? Because there's a harness that leads all the way from the back towards the front. Okay? Just be very gentle with this. You know, like I mentioned, there are they are plastic parts. However, you know, they're not that easy to obtain anymore. So just be careful. There we are. Then we have a series of few connections that we need to undo. Okay, got that going, got the middle one, and also the top one, okay, so we're going to put this to the side because this is actually going to go with the dash, okay, so now, what I'm actually going to do is, um, I'm actually going to attempt to remove this here, okay, for the vents, for the center vents, um, and as well, just prying, being a little careful, but prying, as you go you know you have to find that sweet spot in order for you to pop it out of position here pop it out of here but then again you want to be careful you don't want to overdo it and just apply too much force and then this breaks you know what i mean so take your time take your time as you're doing this you know the world is not going to end if you you know it's not going to end um, so just yeah, be very cautious of this Okay, so here being that this one has a convertible top your switch might be looking a little different than this one here But either way, um, yeah, we're gonna undo this one and then the other two here on this side Bam And bam, okay, so we have this piece going for us. All right, I'm just gonna put it here in this pile and then for this one here Oh, okay. That's strange. Normally, um, there is a cable that runs all the way up to, to here. And um, it's not here. It's kind of a bummer because I didn't want to show you guys how to remove this. Anyways, it is what it is. 
So we'll put this back together with this piece here. And there are little tabs. As you can see, there are little tabs right here. Okay, just still pop into position. Oh, see, these are broken, so that's that kind of explains it. Um, this have most likely been removed in the past. Anyways, um, so that's that. And now I'm gonna tr at least attempt to, um, we're gonna actually remove these screws here. Okay, these four Phillips screws. And then um, I'll be back. Okay, we got those screws loose, but we are not ready to remove that yet. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, hopefully you guys are able to see this. There's a 10 millimeter bolt that lives right here, okay? And I wanna say there's actually one on each side, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. I'll check right now. Um, but we're gonna be removing this guy. Okay. Put it together with all the 10 mils over here. And yeah, there is one right here. Okay, so we're gonna be removing that. And then after this, uh, we'll get back to this uh, very shortly. But what I'm gonna focus on now is actually removing the glove box okay and there's a series of a few screws you know behind it as well so um i'm gonna clean this stuff up move it to a different area and then uh, i'll be back okay all right so let's move over to the passenger side here and uh undo the glove box so obviously there's a few screws that we need to get behind the glove box here and in order for you to drop the glove box you actually have to remove these here and how do you do it? You pretty much uh, do it like so. Well, this one's already undone, so that's no point of uh, showing you guys this side. But this one here is clipped into position. So what you do is uh, you push this sucker down and bam, out it goes. Now, this actually drops to the bottom, okay? And now what we have to do is we have to undo this guy and we also have to undo this guy here okay two phillips screw uh screws screws okay so i'll be back once that's done you push this sucker down and bam out it goes now this actually drops to the bottom okay and now what we have to do is we have to undo this guy and we also have to undo this guy here okay two phillips screw uh, screws screws okay so I'll be back once that's done okay all right so I got those uh, screws and bolts removed and once you do that this actually has a lot of play you can even tell it has a lot of play once you remove that uh, one thing that I was remembering um, when I took when I took uh, this dash well not this dash but when i took a dash before apart and installed it in a different car i remember it was a cover and this this was you know plenty of years ago so just bear with me guys i want to say the cover that i'm after is this guy here i think i i think this is held on by okay we got a phillips screw here at the bottom and we also have a 10 millimeter here at the bottom okay so i'm gonna have to remove those uh just fyi and then See if maybe I can pop this guy out because I believe there's one more screw I might have to get to, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. Okay, so just bear with me. Okay, we got those screws, the bolt and the screw undone. Let's see what happens. No. Oh, okay, there we go. So there's one clip here. And then the reason why this one doesn't want to go is because of that weather stripping that's right here. So you might have to kind of take it out of position and then you can bring it out. Okay, there it is. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to be focusing on is removing this airbag here and to get to it, uh, let me see if I can show you guys. So there's one here. There's one 10 millimeter bolt right here, right here. I believe there's a few Phillips screws um, as well. Sorry. And I want to say they might be, might be this guy. 
and this guy i'm not a thousand percent sure but for sure these uh these 10 millimeter here these 10 millimeter bolts they have to be removed so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and see what uh what we have next okay okay so if you guys remember we're showing you guys a few of the phillips screws that need to be removed so i want to say we're going to start out with this guy here okay okay we got that and then there's a not sure if it's a total of three or it should be two that i remember but i could be wrong okay so we're doing one right here okay do these here actually there's a total of four I'm gonna do undo all four right here at the bottom they're Phillips head uh, screws okay so there's and they're pretty long you, you'll know which ones you're you're supposed to undo because they're pretty goddamn long okay. we got this one here And we should have wiggle room now. Oh yeah. In fact, I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I don't think you had to remove these two. So the ones you're after for sure are this. They're these, this one here, it's this one here, and then the one here at the other end. This one here can stay. Um, but anyways, um, it's been a while honestly and i'm sorry you guys <laughs> but uh but yeah you can screw that back on okay so now that we got the airbag uh somewhat loose we do have to uh disconnect it okay um and the way i kind of did it um be in the past is uh there's actually a connector Oof, all the way down over here just follow this uh this yellow cable uh well not yellow cable but the cable here with the yellow insulator Okay, just follow that guy which is this guy right here okay because hopefully you guys are able to see that um so it's this guy here and then it's gonna go all the way back underneath where the glove box is hopefully you guys are able to see it do you guys see this cable okay so there's a connector with a green tab on it let me get this out of the way um and what you have to do, undo is actually you have to lift it up you know get like a small little thin uh, flathead screwdriver okay pop that tab out and then push the connector in and take it out okay once that's done uh this is pretty much free you just have to wiggle the harness out of place um, and bam there it is not too complicated all right so on to the next step what we're going to be removing is actually the the uh, i guess factory tweeters if you will uh get a flathead screwdriver pop these covers out it should come out with the entire tweeter itself okay so you kind of want to do this okay if you can get a bigger flathead maybe that might help I'm just too lazy to go and get it but Just be careful, like I said, definitely don't want to damage anything. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Looks like this have been has probably been uh, uninstalled before. Anyway, so there's a connector here for these tweeters. And um, to make your life a little easier, just pinch it, take it off. Um, I'll, I'll explain to, to you guys why in a minute. Um, but <clears throat> we want to do the other one as well. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that one as well. Okay.
okay and this is pretty much the same the same thing where you have to undo the the connector uh, just because there's a 10 millimeter bolt in the back holding the dash all the way at the back okay and also on that side too so just be aware and this is where you're gonna need a very long uh, extension to get to those bolts okay so anyways I'm gonna put uh, something together and then uh, I'm gonna undo those those uh, two 10 millimeter bolts in the back area okay okay so this is what I'm gonna be using here okay so just take your time you definitely don't want to strip that guy, that guy right there and let's see I got it okay there you go so we got it okay now we're gonna work on this guy here baby 10 millimeters okay all the way at the back now uh there's a few connectors you know that the dash does uh does connect to and being a few is actually back here okay back here there there's actually a clip that kind of slides in here that connects to you know it's part of your engine harness um but there's a few connectors that you have to undo from here okay so just be aware of that I believe it might be a total of three I could be wrong it could be a total of two but I'm gonna get this guy out of position as well just to be on the safe side okay so I'm not I haven't like I said I haven't done this in years in a lot of years and uh, you know trying to see if maybe I can refresh my memory as far as doing that but here we go this is one of the connectors we're gonna See if we can undo it. To undo it is this push clip right here. Bam. Okay. So that's th that's that. It's, they're back here, right behind your radio. Okay, you can't miss them. But one thing you might want to do is remove the ECU if if for some reason they're in. You know, it's in the way. Okay. Okay, we are at the bottom of the steering column. As you guys can see, there's a steering column here. And one of the connectors that actually plugs into the, you know, the side mirrors, uh, um, bonnet, uh, little connector, uh, to the side mirrors. Okay, this can, this controls the side mirrors here. So this connector here, we're going to have to bring it back. Okay. And then there's also, uh, Excuse me. There's also a white connector here that we're gonna have to undo. Okay, there it is. All right, correction. I'm still underneath the steering column, and we have the the fuse box that's inside. And this is the connector here. You'll see it. It's is the very first one right here at the top right hand corner. So this connector actually has to be undone so, um, because it's part of the dash hopefully you guys are able to see it i'm talking about this guy here so i'm gonna go ahead and undo this and then uh all it involves is just to push a little uh clip or pin and uh it should slide out okay so i'll be back okay so i undid the there's a little push tab that you have to undo and then all of a sudden this comes out okay if this is zip tied to anything uh, make sure you undo it because, um, yeah, you can definitely uh, pull something out. Okay, so that's that. It's not too big of a deal, honestly. Um, I'm going to pull this back here. Like This was the white connector that clipped into here. And this goes to the switch that controls the side mirrors. Okay, this connector stays here. It's part of, like, this area here is part of this area, not, not the dash itself so anyways um i want to say for the majority of the stuff it's undone there is one more one more uh see this guy here 
this guy here so i'm gonna have to undo it so all it is you push this tab in and you take it out okay all right so that's that i'm just gonna double check and verify that i have removed all of the bolts around the the dash that we need to remove um and then following after that if that uh turns out being good um most likely we're gonna have to pull this guy uh in our direction but just be aware if the dash has never been removed ever in the past man um they're on there pretty tight but it is removable you just need to use a little bit of a a little bit of a rough love okay all right so i just went over um the bolts that are you know attach the dash onto the onto the main frame of the of the car and uh i noticed there's two that i left behind so i'm gonna be removing them um there's one here okay and then there's also another one right here i rather remove them just to be uh more safe than sorry you know how that goes so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'll be back all right so i got those two bolts uh removed now like i mentioned it's just you know see if it gives you're gonna have to bring it towards you and do some a little bit of yank yanking is going is going to be going on so uh let's go ahead and do that and see if we can get this thing to come off bam that's all it took <laughs> anyways so i'm gonna try to maneuver this uh this dash in a way where you know hopefully it doesn't interfere here, right here with the steering wheel um i don't know if i might have removed it in the past the steering wheel itself um but if i have to i have to i just don't want to because you know there's no need for me to remove it but nevertheless let me see if i can maneuver it in a way where i can remove this dash and then uh yeah all right so what i'm going to actually do is uh i'm actually going to re remove the turn signals or at least let them dangle because i kind of did notice they're a little bit in the way um like i mentioned it's just been a few years since i haven't done one of these so yeah i totally forgot about that so i'm gonna just there's two screws that hold on to the actual assembly is here okay and then there is a connector uh for it as well and uh, i'm sorry if you guys are not able to see it but um it's actually on the back side of this uh this unit here okay and all it is is just a little tab you have to push and then you pretty much undo the connector that way if i can get a good angle at it, at it. there we go okay so there we go there's actually two connectors on this car okay one and two they're actually right here okay so I'm gonna put this to the side here and just make sure it doesn't get damaged um, I might as well uh, remove uh, th the switch right here that controls the windshield wipers um, might as well do that um, just to be on the safe side so in order for you to remove that one as well it's actually it's the same concept two connectors okay there's two connectors um, I'm sorry one connector one connector as far as I I'm seeing just one connector and uh, there is one connector and two screws okay one connector and two screws all right and pretty much the same way there's a tab on the connector just push it and then this whole assembly should come out okay reason being is I don't want to pull the dash and then damage that part in case we need it in the future you know and uh fyi guys uh this car i am parting it out so if you guys need something that you guys see in the video let me know and i'll let you know if it's still available or not okay um so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and uh pull this dash a little bit more back okay there's a little bit of wiggling that needs to happen you know and that's expected okay and then what i'm gonna do is uh i'm actually gonna swing this thing a little bit towards like in this way in this direction like so but lifting it up just making sure you're not dangling anything okay all 
Okay, there we go. Just take your time. Take your time. Definitely take your time. Okay. Alright. There's that. Okay. These connectors. Yeah, I'm sure life will be much better if I remove the steering wheel, but whatever. You know, I can work with this. I'm not in a hurry to take it off either way. So. Here we go. And if you can open up your doors even more um, I'm, I'm actually limited on this end here I'm limited so yeah um, I could only open it up so much but it's going it's going it's going at least I think it's going okay Yeah, snapped a little bit, but whatever. It's still a bolt, a bolt on. Anyways, I thinking. I'm thinking. I might have to remove it. I might might have to remove the steering wheel. Not necessarily that you have to, because you don't. You definitely. I'm sure there's a way, but I'm just limited on this area here of the door um, to fully remove it fully remove this dash and I definitely don't want to screw it up anymore okay so I'll be back okay so uh, something I didn't think I was gonna do I'm actually gonna be end up I'm, I'm gonna end up doing it so uh, there's four screws that hold on to the airbag the driver's side airbag and uh, in order for you to remove it there's actually a connector here it's just two tabs and then it kind of pops out of position you kind of Kind of. You might have to use like a small little flathead screwdriver to uh, to get it out of the way. Let's see if I can find mine. Okay, so that's that. And this guy right here. Bam. Okay. Then uh, what we're gonna do is uh, there's a 17 millimeter bolt here. I'm gonna use my impact okay to remove it but don't fully take out the nut okay I'm gonna loosen it up and have the have it like maybe towards maybe the last two or three threads that way we can yank the steering wheel and it won't freaking pop into our face okay all right so I'll be back okay I think that's good enough right there then there you go that's it then you can fully take off the nut and take out the steering wheel be aware there is a clock spring right behind it so you might have to undo the connections uh, for that for the clock spring there is one more here and then you take out the steering wheel kind of wiggle these connectors out of the way the clock spring is still in place and now we have plenty of room to bring it towards us instead of angling it if we don't you know you don't have to anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and fully remove it let's try this tent okay and this is much better and then remember those connectors that i uh mentioned to you guys about <clears throat> right that live uh by the ecu these guys right here Make sure you pull them out because they're kind of in the way, especially with this uh, climate control. Okay, but anyways, there it is. Uh, after after a little while and a few headaches, there it is. You guys can see it's off the car. All right, you guys. So this is pretty much how it's looking like. You know after once it's uh, been pulled out of the car as you guys can see we got the airbag we got the vents in the center we got the little controls for the fog lights and also for the for the side mirrors we got the little tweeters here everything's just put together it's not obviously it's not fully bolted on or anything like that because it, we don't have a car to install it on yet um yeah but this is pretty much uh what entails of you removing the 
the dash i wish i would have removed the steering wheel prior to even starting uh this whole procedure this whole job but eh whatever you know um i can't remember everything <laughs> so anyways um yeah this is how you remove the 2g uh dsm uh dash for a turbo model i don't know if the 420a has any differences but uh this is for the turbo models uh gst and gsx okay all right hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh i know it's not very common for us dsmers to remove the dash but some actually like to go to this style interior the black and the black dash black interior if you will this one actually came with a black tan uh combo but nevertheless um hopefully this video was uh somewhat informative and uh you guys learned a little bit something new maybe you guys already done this before in the past i honestly i just wanted to cover this video because i haven't been able to find anyone doing this um online here on youtube so anyways uh yeah Hope you, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like, uh, comment. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer what I can. Um, but, you know, I don't know everything. I'm trying. I'm trying. But, uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, hope you, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you guys did, drop a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.